Good day, Volution. Welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. We're back again with some air guns. In fact, a couple that I was telling you that we were going to compare. The one is a Daisy Powerline 35, while the other is a Crossman, and that's the Pumpmaster 760. So they are quite identical, but there are a few features that are a little different. We'll talk about those. Uh, and it's cold out here, very cold. We have a wind chill right now of five degrees. We have a serious storm coming. In fact, they may change it from a winter storm warning to a blizzard warning because we're supposed to get like 55 mile an hour winds and snow. So yeah, that's gonna get bad. So it's cold, it's very cold. So, and I stress that due to the fact we're shooting air guns and you know what cold can do to an air gun. Now. Here is the daisy, and we're going to get both of them because that way I can compare them easier. They're both plastic, as you can tell. Everything's plastic on them, uh, except for the barrel, of course. The sights, um, actually the better sights are on this one, the daisy, due to the fact that it is adjustable for windage and elevation, and it already has a white dot up here in the front. This one is for elevation, that's it. And as far as a white dot goes, well, I painted it up there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but uh, I put some paint like I've done with some of my others on it. It's an acrylic white paint, and it works pretty good. Uh, as far as this goes, your, your uh, bolt that you have, I think really the Crossman has got the better bolt. This one has got kind of a I don't know, flex to it, as you might be able to see right here. And it, it's almost like it will break at some point. This one is much sturdier. The loading of the BBs is quite different, and the reservoirs are different. This has got a much bigger reservoir. I think it holds like a thousand. This holds about 50, but you know, you don't need to put a thousand in there. I don't. And you've got a little door right over here. You push that down, and that's where you put them in to your reservoir. Well, this one, this comes open and there's a pouring hole and it goes in. Of course it would, being that it's a much larger reservoir. Um, as far as the pumping and that goes, and you, you cock the thing and when you load your BB, or at least the BB part. Now both of them will shoot BBs and pellets, which you know from past reviews. Uh, let's see, what else is somewhat different? This is a little bit narrow, or thicker than this one. You can see that right there. Um, they do weigh though about the same, just a little over two pounds each. So that, there's no difference there. Even though this one does seem, and it is I guess, it's just a fraction heavier, uh, probably about two ounces heavier than this one. So like I said, very, very close, no big deal on that. Um, shooting wise, well, you do have, this reservoir feeds right into this right here. There's no separate magazine. Where this one has got, and I'll lay this down now. This one has got what I call an onboard magazine. It's right up here. And you just switch that back like that and you load your BBs into it if they'll go. And they don't always go too well. Uh, there it did. And then you shut that little gate and then it holds them inside of there and we showed you that in the review before um, they what we're going to do is we're going I've got some of my Pepsi cans down here and we're going to shoot at those I've got two on one side and two on the other which you're going to be seeing and I think they got some ice in them so they ought to hold so, but I got two for each one of these and we're going to shoot this one to the left and probably do that first and we're going to put five pumps in for each BB uh, the reason being is that's kind of an in-between and BB-wise. We're not going to shoot Daisy BBs and we're not going to shoot Crossman BBs. We're going to give them an equal dose of Umarex Steel BBs. So we got something different for both of them. And uh, we'll just see how that works. But let's get around here and then we're going to start shooting. Well, like I said, we're going to shoot to the left there with the uh, crossman first and uh well first i gotta pull this back load up a bb and then we'll pump it they both by the way have the 
cross bolt type safeties on them. Now let's see what we can do to those cans. Well, I knocked that one off, which I hadn't really planned on because I thought it would stay put. So we'll see what we do with the other one. That one stayed put, so we can fire another BB at that. Figured we'd fire about five of each BB. I can hear them hitting, so that's good. Okay, what we'll do next is we will fire the daisy and see how it does, and we will do the two cans that are to the right side. I will say this, the daisy is easier for pumping. Definitely easier for pumping. And I think this is number five. Okay, we shot those enough. Now let's go pick them up and we'll see what we got. I picked up the cans. And these, of course, the two cans that we shot with the Crossman. And uh, this one was the one that got knocked over right away. And it was close to the bullseye, but to the left. In fact, I noticed that most all the rounds were to the left, as you can see right here. They were all over on this side. They were right here it just needs to be adjusted a little bit for windage which you cannot do with that gun now this one probably needs a little bit of elevation adjustment that or i just need to bring it down a little bit and aim different because this is the daisy right down the middle no doubt about that very good grouping right into this area had one right in the just about in the middle of that so uh as far as the shooting goes, that part, I'd give, the, give it to the daisy, except for the fact that if I could adjust the windage, and maybe I'll just have to use Kentucky windage, this would do pretty good. And again, though, I can bring this one down. And uh, as far as elevation goes on that daisy, and it's going to do pretty doggone good. All right, what I did is uh, turn the camera off. And I decided to do a little bit of Kentucky windage and a little bit of elevation adjustment. So this is what happened with the Crossman, as you can see. I took out the whole center by just, as like I said, doing a little bit of Kentucky windage. I aimed over here instead of where you normally do. And it did pretty doggone good, right on the right level, everything. Great. So that was the Crossman. 
This one had to do a little bit more toying around with the daisy. But I did end up getting in here, but all of a sudden I wanted to shoot over here. So I might have to do some windage adjustment, but not going to do that today. It's getting colder. It is now starting to snow just a little bit. Not much, just flurries. But uh, I was able to get it right here. What I did with this is I aimed for down here because I've got it adjusted as low as it'll go. So both of these guns have got the same sort of a thing where you just got to do a little bit of eye adjustment, I guess you would say. And uh, But as far as planking goes, I mean, take a look at that. Both cans, you're going to hit them. You're going to get them right on targets, period. Even a paper target, you put those up. You're going to hit those too, especially these little three-inch ones like I use for the stick-ons. Works great. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking.